Good afternoon, everybody. Here in, uh, oops, sorry, <laughs> here in uh, Najaf, here in Iraq. Behind me is uh, Amim Ali's holy shrine, and today we're checking out the world's biggest cemetery. So I've been walking around here for the past, you know, 10, 15 minutes, just checking out the local life, chatting to just a few people, and uh, apparently up ahead is actually where uh, the world's biggest cemetery is. Over five million people have been buried here. But yeah, I haven't been to uh, this side of Najaf yet. I've been walking around and uh, we checked out some of the other streets, but I haven't entered like this side. So like right up ahead is uh, the entrance or one of the streets to that leads to the, uh, the massive cemetery there. And over 5 million people have been buried here. And uh, it's believed around like 60,000 people are buried every single year. Uh, mainly, most of those being uh, Shias because they believe that this area is uh, a gateway to heaven. So yeah, let's, uh, let's check it out. We'll meet some cool people, we'll eat some food later on in the day. But this is a, a pretty cool thing. I didn't know about this until a few days ago. So that's why I came to Najaf. I was like, oh, let's check it out. And I'll bring you guys all along for the journey. Yalla. Alright guys, I'm not sure how well you can see this. Maybe I'll turn the, uh, the brightness all the way up. But so, there we are, right right now. So we've been walking down that little road, but let me just like show you guys for scale, like how big this thing is. So like literally all of that area, <laughs> these graves, it even goes up here, up here, up here. Like it, it's just, it's like literally the size of a whole city. It's crazy. There's just so many roads that intertwine between them all. So I think we're just gonna have to like walk in. Maybe, oh, there's an entrance over here. Let's go in here and uh, we'll see what we find. All right, wow. You have to be careful where you're walking just in case you tread on a, a grave. But here's the first look, everybody. Unfor unfortunately for me, none of this is in English, so it's all in like Arabic, so I can't actually uh, read anything. So I'm gonna call. But this just goes on for miles and miles over that way. It goes that direction, that direction, that direction, uh, everywhere. All right, I found a better entrance. This is a lot more open. We got cars driving down. We got tuk-tuks, tuk-tuks. You're about to run into me. <laughs> but just everywhere you go, graves on graves, and they're so close to each other as well. From the uh, very few cemeteries that I visited in Australia, fortunately I haven't really had to deal with many family uh, deaths, but they're basically like <laughs> very organized. Like it's like a maybe like a meter gap between everybody and it's like perfectly situated. But here obviously they're trying to utilize all the space and stuff. So as I was saying, Maybe I'll take my sunglasses off. Oh, it's actually, it's, yeah, we look a little bit too much CIA with the sunglasses. Uh, but as I was saying, people are paying the high price to get closer to uh, Amim Ali's shrine. So that's kind of the uh, the goal, to be buried as close as you can to that area. So I'm gonna come. Let's, uh, there's another street that way. There's this way, let's head over here. We'll change it up a bit. I was just thinking there's a good chance that I'm getting lost in here. <laughs> Cause I just, I just, it kind of like just processed in my head the scale of which the size of this uh, cemetery is. And I'm gonna be going left, right, straight, wherever, backwards, upside down, who knows? And I guarantee we're gonna get a little bit lost in this thing. But people are, are walking through here. So as you saw in, uh, my previous video when we went into the Holy Shrine, there were people that were holding uh, the coffins and walking them in. They go to Amin Ali's shrine, get his blessings, and then uh, I believe that they're buried uh, here as close as they can get. I think, I don't know how much it costs <laughs> to get buried here. I guess it's just like depends on the land, but I've read that apparently people are starting to buy land on the outskirts of these uh, areas. You, because, you know, as I said, in like 10, 20 years, this is going to increase by uh, hundreds of thousands and you can't really keep burying on the same spot. you got to work his way out. So, it's just endless. It's just never endless, seriously. It just goes on and on and on. It's, 
so surreal. I always, uh, when I'm filming these kinds of videos at, you know, holy sites and religious sites and cemeteries, it's always hard to maintain energy because it is uh, not really like a depressing place, but it's certainly not like a riding around in a crazy tuk-tuk where your adrenaline is going off. It's kind of, you got to mellow yourself out. You got to be uh, appropriate to the situation and kind of just like take everything in with your eyes. So apologies if uh, it's not the most entertaining video, but I think it's, uh, Definitely like, just something so interesting. Speaking of tuk-tuk, we got a crazy tuk-tuk driver driving at us right now. Wow, he was driving fast. <laughs> oh, look at this one. So these ones are really beautiful. They've even got the images uh, sort of engraved into the actual stone. That's a beautiful grave right there. And there's all kinds of writing. Wow. You can see there's literally just like roads going through this thing because as I said, it's honestly the size of a city. It is huge, as you can expect. Five million people buried here. Imagine uh, how big that's gonna be, but there's main roads, there's asphalt roads, there's dirt roads, cars coming through. It's like a, it's, the best way to put it is a, a city. It's, uh, it's so interesting being here. Seeing all these ones, you know, honestly, if I, if I could read Arabic, I'd be able to say, like, you know, when this person died or what their name is. But unfortunately, my Arabic is shway shway. Shway shway Arabic. <laughs> all right. I think I've reached the end of one section because this actually appears to be a main road, and over on that side, there actually isn't any. Uh, graves or anything So I saw this like really beautiful turquoise mosque over here, so we might walk on over there See if we uh, come across anything else, but let me just check maps. There's no way that's it like based off of the, uh, the size of What I saw there's no way we just walk through the whole thing Okay, yeah, so if we walk that way and basically go in any direction we uh, Though <laughs> Those two fields are literally the only two clear ones in uh, in about a 10 kilometer radius. But I saw this uh, blue mosque here. I want to go check it out. Also, usually I would like go up to locals and you know start a conversation with them, but it honestly just feels so wrong in doing that here, just because there's only two reasons really people, uh, or actually one reason people are here for. Salam alaikum. Uh, because they're paying respects to their loved ones that have passed away. And, I'm sure uh, nobody ever really wants a, a tourist coming in and asking you questions, you know, ruining the vibe for that. So that's why this video will most likely be solo. Just me hanging out in here, walking around, giving my thoughts on everything. And uh, maybe later on we'll head back into the market and chat to some locals there. Alright guys, that's the mosque that I saw in the distance. It's actually been uh, reconstructed or there's some work being done to it. There's got a, it's got a massive wall around the side. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get in there or if I'll be able to find a way in there. But it just looks so beautiful from the outside. Beautiful mosaic colours, turquoise, dark blue. It's, uh, it looks beautiful. Salaam alaikum. <laughs> Alright, let's go back in. See, uh, see what this one does. Assalamu alaikum. It's honestly just mind blowing. Thinking that every, like every stone here, there's a person, or the remains of people laying underneath. Somebody that had a life, somebody that had a family, somebody that had loved ones, friends, all of that. I've noticed some of like these photos of the people have like a lot of firearms and RPGs and stuff like that. 
<laughs> definitely getting some funny looks from people driving by in motorbikes, cars. I mean, this is definitely probably the first time they've ever seen a tourist in here alone, at least. I mean, I'm sure some people have come in here with guides, but just one guy wearing all black, holding a, uh, a selfie stick, filming a vlog. It's probably a first for them. But all these ones here, all the greys here are very similar style. They got the flat top and then a bit of like a header to them. They go on for ages. Ah. Salam alaikum. So if, if you're traveling like uh, in Iraq, I didn't actually know what this, uh, all these flags were before, but uh, on there, the green flag with uh, Amim Ali, that's actually Amim Ali himself. So there's pictures of him everywhere. So you're bound to, uh, to find out sooner or later who he is once you arrive here. But uh, yeah, he's basically, you know, he's done many miracles. And uh, where we were yesterday in his uh, holy shrine, that's where he was uh, buried and it's filled with gold. Like even like you can uh, see on the roof, it's full gold. It's like even places that you can touch are covered with like uh, secure glass that is unbreakable because it's like real gold that this uh, holy shrine is made out of. It was honestly one of the most beautiful things I've ever been in. So just, just architecture and just, it was honestly just gorgeous. I just saw a crack in uh, this one, but I think this leads down into somewhere. It's like there's ones with uh, kind of like undercover caves and flowers and stuff in there. I see a Quran on the table. Um, so you really just get to see a whole different type of uh, burials. You have the normal ones, you have ones that are caged up. Ones with big stones, ones with small stones, ones that look different. You get whatever you want. Even ones with tinsel on them. Ones with flowers. That's really just a mixture of everything. It's a it's an interesting vibe in here. I tell you, it's beautiful seeing everything. And I'm obviously trying to maintain energy while vlogging to make it entertaining. But at the same time, you have so many people in misery right now. You know, saying goodbye to their loved ones, mourning them. No doubt, a, a terrible time for them. Sadness and misery. All right, we are back at the Holy Shrine. A lot busier than it was last night, and a lot busier than it was a few hours ago when I was here, or when I started this video. But uh, regardless of how busy it is, it's still just as beautiful. Man, every time I walk down here, I always eye off these sweets, and today's the time that I'm gonna buy one. Try it, son. Salam alaikum. Kenefe? La. La? Dim. Dim, alright. Uh, Wahid. Wahid? Yeah. One kg? La 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 la. Like, uh. Like, li little bit. <laughs> Australia. Oh, it smells good. Just a, a small piece. Small. Yeah. This is not smell fine. Alright. This is kilo but fine? Alright. Wait, is that one for me or is that one for me? I don't know. That is for me? Yes. Oh, I try. Okay. So we'll take this off. Alright. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Zane. Zane. Very Zane. <laughs> Guys, that's going to be one of the, uh, the best things I've ever tried. What is the na name? Dahim Dahim. Shu? Dahim Dahim. Dahim. That is the nicest thing I've ever tried in my life, honestly. I'll go, um. Well, we're definitely gonna buy some. Honestly, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like butterscotchy. Shu. 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 Half kg? Yeah. This is half kg. Oh, this is half kg. Okay, how much? One minute. Look at all the other ones. I don't know if they're the same. They got different ones, a full batch there. 
As those uh, churro things I've tried. They got nut ones, little biscuit things, nuts. Maybe we have to come back and try all of them because this one looks good as well. There's like white sort of cream in the middle as well. They're all got their own unique flavor. And over here, we got like a baklava. Oh, I think, which one did I have in uh, Slay Money? I had one. I think maybe it was that one, I think. It was delicious. They all are so good. They're honestly delicious. You got little cookie looking things, big blocks of it. It's so cool. So unique. And that looks similar to uh, Gulab Jamun that I had in uh, Pakistan in, in India. Sugary syrup. All right, let's see how this is coming along. Half kg? Yeah, yalla. No half kg, la 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 Hey, that's uh, me. TikTok, TikTok. TikTok, eh? Yeah, same. <laughs> We're getting all the followers, everybody. That's my name. If you guys didn't know, I have a TikTok where I post uh, every day. Yeah. Ah, follow. Shukran, Habibi. Shukran. La la. La la. No, you. Shukran, Shukran. All right, guys. So we got the most delicious sweet I've ever tried in my life in my hand. We got a whole half kilo of it. I was gonna go the full kilogram, but then I'm like, whatever I buy, I'm gonna eat. So I might as well hold myself off now and buy the 500 grams, and then I don't even have the option to eat the full kilogram. Uh, so yeah, this is like the street that I was walking down last night with Azhar. My hotel is uh, over that way. But honestly, guys, people are so friendly here. People are willing to have a chat. People give you free food. Or well, that time, I left the money there. Uh, but people are so friendly. You know, you don't see this kind of stuff in the media. You don't see a like a foreigner, like a 21-year-old Australian walking around solo, uh, around Iraq with no tour guide. It's just, it just doesn't happen. You don't see this kind of stuff. So, really trying to show the truth of this country. And hopefully, uh, these videos have done that. So, let's finish up the video here, everybody. As always, thank you so much for watching. Chase your dreams. And we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. I'll be probably like five kilograms heavier in the next one. Because I'm going to eat ten times this. <laughs> Yalla.